Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how to install an affordable home theater. So this is my living room where I'll be installing my home theater. On this wall I'll be installing the projector using a wall mount and on this wall here I'll be installing a 120 inch projection screen. So in my video I'm gonna show you the material that I'll be using and also I'm gonna show you how I'll be installing everything. So let's start by showing you all the materials that I'll be using. So this is the bulk of the material that I'll be using. For the projector, I chose the Ymios P64, and this is a generic mounting arm, so I'm gonna mount it on the wall. And this is the Edifier R1700 BTS speakers, and this here is 120 inch screen projector. So let me show you now on Amazon's website the details of the material, and you're gonna see that it is really affordable. So this here is my Amazon cart where I put all the things that I purchased for this home theater and depending on the time of the year the full amount of this cart is around $500 so it might be a little bit more so it might be a little bit less. So this is the mounting arm that I talked about so it can be ceiling mount or wall mount and this is Amazon fire stick and these are some cable hiders. And this is here a long HDMI cable. And these are the Edifier R1700 BTS. And by the way, I'm going to leave a link for all these in the description below. This is Amazon affiliate link. If you make a purchase, I'll gain a small percentage, but this is at no cost to you. And this will help my channel. And this is the projection screen. And this here is the autofocus Ymios P64 projector. The only thing that is missing from this card is a long power cord that has many outputs and this is something that you can purchase for $10 at any dollar store. So let's start now with the first step which is installing the projection screen. So this is where the projector screen will go and I'm gonna use the transparent adhesive so to put it on the wall but before this I'm gonna clean the wall with a damp cloth so that the adhesive sticks optimally. So vertically it measures 160 centimeters and horizontally I'm gonna start it from here and it will reach until here. So I'm gonna keep it like about 40 centimeters above the ground. So what I need to do is to measure the overall length of the wall. So it is 240 centimeters. So if I subscribe 160 from 240 centimeters, I'll get 80 centimeters. And because I want to leave 40 centimeters from the ground to the bottom of the screen, I need to keep 40 centimeters also from top. So the hook should be at 40 centimeters. So I'm gonna measure the first hook and then I'm gonna put it. So this is 40 centimeters here exactly. And I'm gonna put it here. So this is the first hook installed. So this here can go into the hook like this. And now I can install the second one. So I'm gonna install one after the other so that I can stretch it a bit so that the screen would be like stretched and not uh, have undulations. So it should go here like this. So this is the second one and so on. So I'm going to continue now like this here, put one here and then one there. And of course here on the sides, the hook should be like this. So it is stretched just enough. Don't forget also to tighten the adhesive on the wall. And now I got the hang of removing the protection of the adhesive. It's easy now. And the hooks on the bottom of course should be pointing downwards like this. Don't stretch it too much. And this is the last one here. And see how nice it looks. It really is very good. And the adhesive quality is really very good. The next step in the installation process is to assemble and install the wall mount. First, you take this one. So this is the main part. And then this is the part that goes in it, the sliding part. And then you need to slide it here in like this. And now this is the base that goes on the wall. So this one should go here. So you need to slide the arm in the base like this. It goes like this. And then you need to assemble it. And to assemble it, you need the biggest screws. 
So the next thing is to install this head here on the arm. And now we need to put the screws here. So the screws are four of these six screws here. The next step in our assembly is to install this X holder here on the bottom of the projector. So I am using the YMUS P64 projector. So you need to put it upside down with the lens facing like this. And then see these hooks here on this X bar. The hooks should be parallel to the lens. And this is because for the arm, the hooks go into the arm like this here. So this is why they should be parallel so that it will be straight. And usually on the projector, you have rubber feet covering the holes. So you need to remove them. Don't discard them because you might need them in the future. Use a plastic prying tool to remove them. So these are removed like this easily. That is adhesive on the YMSP64. And now let's put this to install it like this. And before installing the projector on the wall, any cable that you have, put it in this arm here because this is also a cable management device. So you see here, I put the power cable. I'm gonna also put the HDMI cable in it. So now I'll be installing the projector's arm here and I'm gonna put it as much higher as I can so that the projector's noise don't bother me. And it has, of course, like a 15 angle adjustment, so I can adjust it. And I need a stud finder to do this. So let's find the stud. There'll be a stud here, I think. So this is where the stud begins. So I'm gonna put the first screw here. And the second one should be like this here. So now it is leveled like this. So now it's time to install the projector and it has these hooks here. So you need to put the projector in the hooks first, like this. And now it's better to connect the cable before adjusting the projector. So let me connect the cables. So now the cables are connected and now we need to adjust the level of the projector. I'm gonna first put the screws and then I'm gonna adjust it while turning it on so that I can see the projected image. So these are the screws and you notice we have a plastic washer and also a metal washer. So put the plastic washer after the metal washer. So the plastic washer should be on the uh, metal here. So let me put the first screw by hand. Careful, do not pull on the projector because of the arm so that you don't yank the arm. So let's remove the lens cap and let's turn on the projector to adjust it. So wait for the projector to auto-tune in case you have an auto-tune projector. This is the case of the YMS P64. So it adjusts the focus and it adjusts the keystone also. And this is how I want it. I'm gonna start by tightening the screw here. And I'm gonna tighten the other screw. So tighten the screws good, because remember we have the plastic washer, so it's easy to adjust the projector after you tighten the screws also, in case you need to do micro adjustments. So now the projector is installed, and I'm gonna install cable hiders here, so that to hide the cables, like this. So I got these cable hiders from Amazon also. So this is the box of the cable hiders. And these are self-adhesive. So all I have to do here is to remove this. And of course, I clean the wall where I'm gonna install them. I'm gonna remove the cover first, like this. And then I'm gonna slide the cover after I install the cable hider. So stick it on the first attempt so that it sticks well. And here's the first one. After you install the first one, you need to put the cables in it and then uh, slide the cover over it. I still want to show you how to connect the Bluetooth speakers. To do this, go to the right on the settings here. And then you have Bluetooth settings. Choose it. And here you need to select add accessory. So I've done this already and I connected my Edifier R1700 BTS. And this is really very good. So these are the final results. And the size of the screen that is displayed is 100 inches. 
and I really like it. It's crisp and the sound is very good with the Bluetooth connection. By the way, as I mentioned in this video, if you want to check out any of the items that I showed, I'm going to leave Amazon affiliate links in the description below. I hope that you liked this video and you found it useful. In case you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.